This guide shows you how to download a great little app which uh, makes it easier for you to browse the internet. If you're a regular sort of browser on your uh, Fire TV stick, then this thing actually bookmarks pages to save you having to repeatedly type the website address in. So first of all, you need to ensure that you've got a browser on your Fire Stick. So uh, we can either download like the Silk browser or we can download the uh, uh, Mozilla Firefox browser. So to do this, just go up to the um, magnifying glass in the top left hand corner of the screen and start to type Silk and you should see appear as you're typing it Silk browser. So go down to Silk browser, press the middle button on the remote control and there we go, internet comes up, so let's push that. And in my case, I've already got it installed, but if you hadn't have had it installed, then uh, it would ask you to install it at that point. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is, I'm just gonna push the home button on the remote control to go back to the home screen. We need to go back to the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner of the screen, and press the middle button and then we need to type in book marker and as we type in book marker we should see there book marker one appear scroll down to that using the down button on your remote control until it's highlighted in orangey yellow there and then press the middle button on your remote control and here we go you get this number one come up in the apps and games so just press the middle button on your remote control once more and here we go it gives us the option now to download it so once again push the middle button on the remote control now this bit might take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your fire stick and the speed of your internet connection please be patient what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video as it's installing and we'll come back to it in a few moments and there we go, mine's now installed. So I'll just press the middle button on the remote control once again to open it. And here we go, it says enter the URL you'd like to automatically load in the web browser when this app launches. So say for instance, I wanted to load, I don't know, Google for instance. So let's just press the middle button on the remote control and up comes the keyboard. And I'm gonna type in there www.google.co.uk and like I say you can type in absolutely anything you like in here um, whatever website you regularly go to type this in here sorry I did make a mistake there so I'm just going to rip correct that okay so yet yeah, we've got www.google.co.uk so I press the play pause button on the remote control to go next okay and it asks us now what do we want to do do we want to always open it in our silk browser if we had the Mozilla Firefox browser in there we'd have that option or we can say use the default system prompt to select a browser well I might as well let it always open in the silk browser so select that by pressing the middle button and then scroll down using the down button to save settings there and then press the middle button on your remote control. So it said the URL entered will now load in the browser you selected whenever this app is launched. To start using your bookmarker, select this button to exit. Okay, so I just press the middle button and then let's just press the home button on the remote control to go back to the home screen. And there we go, we're back to the home screen. And as you can see there, we've got a number one there or that is, if it's not there, then hold down the home button and keep it held down until these icons appear. And then go into apps, just by pressing the middle button on your remote, and all your apps should then appear, and we should see a number one appear. And there we go, there's our number one just appeared. So we press the, uh, we, we highlight that, and then we press the middle button, and then what's gonna happen now is Silk is now gonna open and it's gonna open us straight to Google. Now with this app, I think you can have up to nine different presets installed on it. So uh, nine different websites you can uh, pre-program. Okay, Google's come up and it gives us, this is only happens the first time this little message comes up saying press the three arrows just on your remote control there to search the web, see your bookmarks and watch trending videos. So uh, let's just press the middle button to get rid of that. 
Now, if you did want to get rid of uh, the bookmark that you've just uh, saved, like Google, for instance, we'll press the back button to come out of Silk, OK, and then go across to the right to exit, press the middle button. And then what we can do is with this number one highlighted here, OK, I press the three lines on the uh, on the Fire TV remote. OK, and then I go down and I go down to uninstall just there. So press the down button on the remote till uninstall is highlighted and then press the middle button on the remote. And that gets rid of that bookmark. OK, so if you wanted to save any more bookmarks, what you have to do is you have to download another bookmarker. So we go to the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner of the screen, press the middle button. OK, and this time we're going to type in there book marker. OK, and if we scroll down, we're now looking for bookmarker two. So we go to bookmarker two, which is our second bookmark, press the middle button on the remote control. And then once again, press the middle button on the remote control. OK, we now go to download. So we press the middle button on the remote control. And this bit again might take a little while, depending on the speed of your fire stick and your internet connection. And as you can see, incidentally down the bottom, you've got customers also bought, so you can download other bookmarks. So it's, it's each app is a bookmarker. So you've got bookmarker one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each of them are apps and each of them will bookmark a page. So there you go. Hope this guide helps and I hope Bookmarker helps you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.